in our culture, there's a definitive word for each grandparent, so it, it can sort of show whether you're the paternal side or the maternal side. So Nani means mum's mum. So I am Nani. And he can say it. Yeah, he does. Nani. Nani. He's a lovely boy, and I'm not just saying because he's my grandson, but even Rena would say, I always thought you'd love him, but I never thought you'd be that besotted. Really? She's got the biggest heart of anyone I know, <laughs> and he's a, a sweet, warm person. Um, but that's what I would, he's, he's definitely got that warmth piece. All he wants to do as soon as he wakes up is go out, is point out and out and out, and like that's where I want to be. The C was his new word that he's learned, we were really proud of, but then he's come back and sort of gone, C. I'm like, no, that's not the C thing. He loves playing with any type of ball constantly, ball, 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 up and down the stairs. I mean, that's another Nani job is come down, up, down, up, down, well up, down throwing it out, too. picking it up. She's super, super tactile. So like all of that physical, silly stuff, she's like, there's no, there's no limit. I love it and I do, I can do it for hours. I think I just, I always wanted to be comfortable. So slightly loose, soft, nice, nice trackies. Um, a lot of the time I'm a bit jealous of some of his like little onesies and outfits that I'm like, they're great dungarees, I wish I could, I could have those. But generally like really just soft, I like the soft material stuff for him. But he's worn that like, crocodile. He's worn like, like he still wears the zip ups to bed yeah, that's and then you so, always first like his proper pyjamas today and he, he was like, looked, ooh! He looked delightful in that, it's really cute. Yeah. Really cute. A working parent has that bit of Guilt seed. From me to you, I never felt. I never. I wouldn't have never even thought of that. Oh I remember. I don't ever have this. Oh, my mum wasn't around, or because you balanced it. But you definitely have that factor as a mum. You're trying to to juggle a lot, and the guilt comes into it. But then you know that they're all right. I had the support of my mum to be able to do what I do at work. And I kind of want to do the same for Rena to support her because she's a young woman at that peak. She's starting a new brand. She's been involved in other things. So I want to be as supportive as my mum was. I've got a very amazing support system. Um, so, you know, it's brand new business launching in, in a few weeks time. And it's full on, but I wouldn't have it any other way, you know, it's it's brilliant. There are definitely moments when you're like, that's deprioritised and that's that and it's not easy. But actually, I think I'm very fortunate. We have our lovely morning time, we go to work, we have our evening time, we have our bedtime, you know. Um, that evening ritual is quite an important family, family moment. Yeah! I'm so proud of Rena. She's a good mum, she's a great mum. Yeah. Yeah.